I'm so excited to kick off this three video series that I'm calling What It Takes to Be the Best Restaurant. Here's part one. Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Gromp and I'm an author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and I'm the founder of therestaurantboss.com, restaurantprofitandperformance.com, as well as clickbacon.com. And this is the first video in a three-part video series, What It Takes to Be the Best Restaurant. And here in part one, uh, those of you who've been following me for a while and watching a lot of my videos and maybe own some of my training programs are going to be a little familiar with this concept of good, great, excellent, and the best. Now, you might have heard me often say mastery, uh, the best and mastery. Those two words to me are sort of combined together. They become one. They're the same. But if you've never heard this before, or even if you have, here's a great refresher for you of what it takes to be the best at anything, but really what it takes to be the best restaurant. And here's an unfortunate truth. We live in an economy that I like to call the expectation economy. And in this expectation economy, your customer has the highest expectations they have ever had. Not only are their expectations set high as far as quality, service, standards, decor, all of that, but they're also, we are also the laziest we've ever been, we're working harder than we've ever worked. We're busier than we've ever been. So you combine these high expectations with all of these demands and it's really, really hard to please a customer in today's economy. So unfortunately, the truth of the matter is that you, me, all of us are being rewarded one step below our effort or our product. And what I mean by that is if you run a good restaurant, I'm talking a good restaurant, solid restaurant, solid staff, solid food, solid business, right? You're an all around good restaurant. You're likely getting poor results. Poor results in the way of freedom, poor results in the way of the stress level you're carrying, poor results in the way of the money that you're taking home or the money you're paying yourself or your staff, right? You're not being rewarded at the level of effort and the level of execution that is being achieved. That's just the market that we live in and it's a sad truth but it's true. If you were a good restaurant 10 years ago, you were getting better results than you are today for being the exact same good restaurant. So if you want good results, you have to be a great restaurant because we get rewarded one step below, right? So great restaurants are getting good results. Excellent restaurants get great results, right? There's a few of those restaurants in our communities that are, we know they're excellent. They're excellent at what they do. They have excellent locations. They have excellent decor. They have excellent staff. They have excellent menus excellent pricing, but even they are getting rewarded with just great results. Now, great may be good enough for you, but if you want the best, if you want it all, if you want to have everything you've ever dreamed of, you have to be the best. And there's only room for one, maybe two in every community to be the best at something. So in this first video today, I just wanted to sort of open up your eyes to the unfortunate realities of the expectation economy that we live in, of how you're being rewarded one step below your effort or your results, and just start thinking about this idea of, you know what, maybe we are a really excellent restaurant, but that's why we're only getting good results. Or maybe we're just a good restaurant, and that's why we're getting poor results right now. And in the next video, next week in part two of what it takes to be the best restaurant, I'm gonna share with you the four strategies that you could choose to deploy in your restaurant to become the best. There's only four strategies, there's only four ways to do it, and the reality is is that most restaurants are gonna be really good. They're gonna pick one of these strategies and be the best at that strategy, and that is gonna accelerate their restaurant to be the best in the area or the neighborhood or the locale or whatever it is for you. But again, there's only four strategies, and it's gonna be really hard for you to work on two of them or three of them at the same time. You really only need to be the best at one to make your restaurant the best. I'm gonna share what those are with you next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And again, I look forward to bringing you next week's about those four strategies to be the best restaurant. Have a great day. Hey everybody, Ryan here. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Would you mind doing me three really quick favors? First, would you like this video? Wherever you're watching it, there'll be a button for you to 
go ahead and click and like the video and then leave a comment somewhere so I could answer your questions. Two, would you go ahead and subscribe to this channel? That way I can continually deliver you the newest updates every time I release a video. And then three, I'd like to give you something. If you're the kind of person who really wants to get ahead in life faster, I have a 90 day planner here that I'd like to give you. I use this planner every day in my business and actually I think this is one of the reasons why I'm able to get as much done as quickly and as efficiently as I'm able to. See, every year when I sit down to plan out my year, I sit down and I do four of these 90 day planners because I believe that we can't get as much done in a month as we think we can, but we can get a lot more done in three months than we think we can. And so I've developed a system, I call it my 90 day planner system, where you can achieve just about any goal you want in 90 days if you follow this. And I'd like to give it to you completely free. Like I say, this is on my desk every single day and I use it in my business and I teach my clients how to use it. And I'd like for you to have it for free. All you have to do is head over to therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal, G-O-A-L. Again, that's therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal. And then just give me your first name and email address and I'll send this right over to you, all four pages. Until the next time I see you, go out every day and improve the lives of your customers, your employees, your vendors, and of course, your family.